Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our next award, I'd just like to be friends with the title holder of our Young Adventurer of the Year. Don't you just love the name of that award? The Young Adventurer of the Year. To present this award, we have a member of our beloved World Expeditions. Would you please welcome Larissa Cowlins to the stage to find out just who is our Young Adventurer of the Year. Hello. Um, well, it's great to be here and be part of the AG Awards, and tonight it's my pleasure, on behalf of World Expeditions, to present the Young Adventurer of the Year Award. For some time, we've been keen supporters of the Australian Geographic Awards, as they recognise the excellence in the fields of adventure and conservation, which are both important core values that we are closely aligned to. The Young Adventurer of the Year holds special appeal as the younger generations have become entangled in the technological revolution their connection have become. Sorry. <laughs> um, as the younger generations have become entangled in the technological revolution, their connection to our natural environments has dwindled. So more than ever, this generation needs mentors, and the Young Adventurer Awardee this year embodies a young woman who leads by example and is a role model of strength and independence to women around the world. In 2006, smothered by stacks of papers cramming her small Brisbane office, Danielle Murdoch had an epiphany. She felt the great need to break free and explore how people lived their lives in other countries. Her adventurous spirit might well have been influenced by the adventure she shared with her family when at age six, she traveled around Europe for six months in a bright orange camper van. Late in 2006, a trip through Laos gave her the taste of a special nature of exploring by motorbike. The ability to move around a country by the roads less traveled and the opportunity it gives to connect more easily with people along the way. She followed this up with a 10 month solo motorcycle adventure through Asia in 2008 and in 2010 successfully applied for the inaugural, inaugural Nancy Bird Walton sponsorship a fund established by the Australian Geographic to honour former trustee and legendary aviatrix Nancy Bird and to be awarded to young female adventurers. Danielle used these funds to kickstart an ambitious four-year motorcycle odyssey through Asia, the Middle East and through Africa, passing through more than 40 countries and travelling 75,000 kilometres, a journey that she completed this time last year. Let's have a look at Danielle's story. Hi, my name is Danielle Murdoch. Um, I'm Motor Monkey Adventures. In Brisbane 2010, I left Australia as one woman, one adventure, 70,000 kilometres. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2015 Young Adventurer of the Year is Danielle Murdoch. Wow, when Australia Geographic awarded me um, with the Nancy Bird Walton Award, I told them I'd be on my venture for two years. But when that turned into four, I figured they would have forgotten about me. <laughs> but I guess this proves me wrong, right? <laughs> Much of my venture has changed. Um, I set out with the slogan, one woman, one adventure, 70,000 Ks, two years. 
Well, the two years doubled. And I don't even know if I did the 70,000 Ks. And I don't even know if I should count the 700 I was even towed by another motorcycle. <laughs> and then I definitely didn't expect to break down in 10 out of 25 countries I crossed. <laughs> in a way, I should be happy I didn't break down in every single country. <laughs> um, this trip wasn't about the one woman, me, but about the thousands of people I encountered and exchanged cultures with along the way. From making sock monkeys with groups of women in northern Pakistan to Namibia, where I was shopping in my motorcycle gear, and the lady standing next to me was completely butt naked, except for a bit of mud, of course. Um, in fact, it wasn't one adventure from Australia to Africa, but many micro-adventures that can occur in a single day. Um, it just goes to show that you can't plan an adventure, and you wouldn't want to anyway. If it was just one woman, one adventure, 70,000 Ks, two years, it wouldn't have been an adventure at all. An adventure is actually about the unexpected and not the scale of it. I would like to thank Australia Geographic and all my sponsors for the continuous support throughout my Australian uh, to Africa adventure, um, even though the scale did change a bit. <laughs> so thank you. Wonderful. Is it just me or do chicks rule in the Australian Geographic office? I'm loving your style. Oh, Cornelia, you could have a good chat to her, couldn't you? Can take apart a bike like that. Love it. <laughs>